What's up guys? So this is not a top 100. It was just a very, very close game. This guy had crazy A gaps and B gaps as you can see from the title map. Definitely threw me off my game. But anyways, I'm going to let the game just play on because I do want to talk about one thing real quick. But before we get to it though, I do want to mention that in one of my previous videos I did mention that I was um, going for that 50 game win streak. Unfortunately, I only got to 45 wins in that and you know and lost. So as upsetting as it was, man, you know, it is what it is and I'll now I gotta start all over but anyways just wanted to clear that up the second thing that I want to talk about is you know it was brought to my attention about maybe a month ago that the only elite receiver in the game that had this trait well before I get to it every receiver you know pretty much in the game has you know the play ball in the air balanced you know trait there's only one receiver in the game that has it <clears throat> excuse me that has it but instead of being balanced it's um it's aggressive so and that player is team of the year deandre hopkins and i've said in my review and i still believe it you know t uh, to this day that hopkins is without a doubt the number one deep threat in the game not because of his speed but because you know the crazy amount of just crazy aggressive catches i mean <laughs> you can't really call it anything else just you know jumping up and just mossing people so when i heard that it made so much sense you know it's like yes that ex that definitely explains why this guy was making so many catches you know because of that trait so like i said for so long he was the only elite receiver in the game with that trait until the nfl draft because now there are two receivers in the game with that trait and that is laquan treadwell who has like 98 catch uh 98 catch in traffic something like that six foot two so even though i said i was not going to buy any more players uh, to do reviews for he was only going for like 40,000 and when I heard that man I was like you know what I gotta put this to the test does that trait really you know is that all that matters is that all you need to be like a deep threat in this game just play the ball aggressive and like I said he does have like 98 catch and 99 or 98 catch and traffic and all that and I was like you know what I gotta put it to the test and like I said he was only going for 40,000 so it was not that much so even if his price drops a bit it should not you know like sabotage my goal to get boss Calvin so anyways I'm currently playing with him I've only played like two games with him. I've only thrown to him like five times. So I can't really go too much off of that. He's caught like two aggressive catches. He's dropped three. Well, actually he dropped two. The, the third one I can't really count because the corner, you know, reached up and smacked it down before he had a chance. So I can't judge too much off of that, obviously. His review should be coming out on Sunday because tomorrow I'm going to be busy. Sunday I might have more time to myself to uh, get that review. And if not, you know, I'll, I'll do my best to get it um, on Monday. But... You know, most likely it's going to be on Sunday. But anyways, I just want to clear that up. And yes, I did say that I was going to review that rookie Derrick Henry, man. But I really thought his price was going to drop a bit, you know, because his first day out, he was like 250, 230. And I was assuming that it would drop to like maybe 150, 140. Instead, it's going backwards. It's going up. It's going like now it's going for like 300 or so. And I'm just like, you know what? Buying a car for 40K, you know, is one thing. Buying it for you know 300 is another so i might have to wait a bit on that derrick henry unless somebody pulls him and lets me borrow him that's a different story but for now i do not see myself buying him um buying him myself so his review his uh, review might take a bit longer but anyways just wanted to clear that thing about um clear it up about the laquan treadwell definitely curious to see what he can do as far as this game goes as you can see here, it was a tough game, man. His A gaps and B gaps gave me trouble, but I did lock it up a bit. I did figure out some good plays to stop it. On offense, I made a few mistakes here and there, but I was able to recover because Terrence Williams, man, was without a doubt the hero of this game. If you were watching and paying attention, Terrence Williams, which I said was without a doubt a top five receiver in the game, just proved it even more by saving my ass in this game with those crazy aggressive catches. But anyways, man, let's go wrap this up. I'll see y'all boys for that Laquan Treadwell and position here with Josh Norman. Review coming out soon. Peace.